Sharati Sha Itabub Latashame Karni. Hello, and welcome to Learn Akkadian. This series is going to teach you how to read cuneiform and translate the Akkadian language. My name is Reese Waters, and I'm going to be your host. I'm a graduate student at the University of Cambridge studying Assyriology. Assyriology is the study of the archaeology, history, and ancient languages of Mesopotamia. By studying Assyriology, we're able to understand the origins of civilization, including everything from the invention of the wheel to the birth of writing to the formation of the world's first empires. Despite its importance, many people don't even know that the field of Assyriology exists. You see, Mesopotamians wrote on clay documents not too different from the one I have here. So while civilizations who used paper or papyrus have had their documents destroyed by time, a surprisingly large proportion of documents from Mesopotamia survive to this day. In fact, hundreds of thousands of clay tablets are housed in museums all around the world, with many of them still not having been translated, and even more are still waiting to be excavated. This course is my call to arms for you to become an Assyriologist. There's so much out there still to be discovered, from the missing tablets of the Epic of Gilgamesh to the location of the lost city of Agade, the capital of the ancient Akkadian Empire. With a curious mind and hard work, anyone is capable of making these discoveries, and this course is going to give you the tools to do just that. Throughout my lesson plans, I'm going to focus on teaching you how to read Hammurabi's Code, which is probably the most influential piece of Mesopotamian writing. Hammurabi's Code uses monumental Babylonian cuneiform script, which was kind of the ideal script and is probably one of the most beautiful to look at. Furthermore, Hammurabi's Code uses Old Babylonian grammar, which is the golden standard to be used throughout all of Mesopotamian history, with future grammars just adapting from this general basis of Old Babylonian. Simply put, by learning to translate Hammurabi's Code, you're going to unlock the foundational skills and knowledge to unlock the entire Akkadian corpus of texts. This course is extremely important to me because nowadays too many people take what historians say for granted without looking at the ancient sources themselves. Loving history can be extremely dangerous when we fail to learn the languages which give us this history. By learning to read original Akkadian sources, you're freed from depending on other scholars for their translations allowing you to personally engage with the text that the Akkadians themselves left behind. This engagement allows us to form a much deeper appreciation of the cultures we're studying, while also protecting us from the dangers of a bad translation. Now I have to confess, at the beginning of this episode, I gave you a bad translation. When I said, Sharati Sha Itabub Latashme Karni, it didn't in fact mean, welcome to the show, I hope you enjoy. What I really said was a Mesopotamian proverb, which means don't listen to the lies which the enemy utters. Now for the rest of this series, I'm not going to be your enemy, but I need you to do one thing. I need you to think critically. I need you to think critically about the translations which you read, but I also need you to think critically about the translations you make, because there's nothing more dangerous than a bad translation. Mm -hmm.